welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be going over how you can connect a uh, react app to uh, firebase so i'm over here in the firebase console so you'll want to navigate to console.firebase.google.com and sign up for whatever you need to and then in this console here uh, i'm going to just go add project like so and you can enter your project name here. So I'm just gonna say notes. We're just gonna create a simple little notes thing that we can uh, show how to connect to uh, React here. So press continue. We can either do Google Analytics or not. These seem to be recommended, but we don't need them for this. So we're gonna create without them. And then you'll see your project being created. All right, and then we can see that that has uh, finished up and is done being created. So we can click uh, continue here. Okay, and then it's gonna bring you over to this uh, main page here. And now what we wanna do is we're gonna create a uh, database here. So we can come in, we're gonna have a real-time database right here. So we can click over to that. And then we wanna come in and say create database right there. You can select wherever you wanna be here. Uh, they only have three options, I guess. So we'll click the United States. And then we're gonna say what test mode we're just doing a little test app here. So we're gonna start in test mode and then we're gonna enable. Okay, and then now this is what our uh, database is gonna look like here. There's uh, a few different options here. There's some different rules we can add, read, write. Right now we have both of these allowed. Um, backups, usage, different stuff like that. Okay, so this is where all of our data from our database will show up eventually. So now let's look at actually creating our React app. So let's come over to a uh, terminal here. And I just have a project Firebase tut up here and I'm gonna do uh, the work in here. So we'll go like this, MPX, and we'll say create uh, React app. And then we're just gonna call it uh, Firebase notes like this. And we're gonna use TypeScript, so we'll say template uh, dash dash uh, TypeScript like this. All right, so once that is finished, we can CD into our Firebase notes like that. And let's open this up in VS Code. And once that's open here, let's open up an integrated terminal because we need actually one more thing here. And we're just gonna go yarn add and we will say Firebase. All right, so once Firebase is there, let's come back over to our uh, web here and we're just gonna add an app here to our project. So we can click on this and it's gonna ask us for the web name. So we'll just say notes like this and we can register like so. And you can see when we do this, we get this Firebase config right here. So what you're gonna wanna do is, um, this is mine, so obviously get your own, but I will uh, delete this app so it doesn't really matter. But um, I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna copy it over. And we are going to use that in our React app. And you can see that will show up right here in your main console as well. So this is looking pretty good. Let's uh, come back over to our app. And over here, let's start coding this bad boy up. So let's come into our uh, source file, uh, source folder here, and we're gonna create a new file and we're gonna call it firebase.ts. But uh, if you're using JS, obviously call it firebase.js. Um, and let's close this down a little bit and get rid of this. And in here, we're gonna import a few things. So we're gonna say import firebase from Firebase slash app. And then we're gonna say import Firebase slash database. And then here we're gonna do that um, config that we just copied from our terminal there. So we're gonna say Firebase config and all of our configuration here like this. So that is great. And then we can come down below here and we're gonna initialize it. So we're gonna say Firebase dot initialize app like that. And then we're gonna pass in here that Firebase config that we just have above right here. So that looks good. And then below that, we're gonna say const database 
sorry, database all lowercase ref. And that's going to be equal to firebase dot database. And then we're going to say dot ref like this. And this will give us reference to our actual database, which we'll be using in uh, when we're actually creating the notes here. Okay, then below that, we're going to go export const. And we'll say notes ref. And we actually want to export this ref here. And that'll be equal to database ref dot child. And we'll pass in notes like this. And then below that, we're going to say export default, and we will say Firebase. Okay, so this is all the setup in our Firebase.ts that we need. So let's save that, and that'll be kind of the last we work with that. Now, let's come over back into uh, our folder structure here, and we're going to create another component in here. And we'll say uh, new file, and we'll just say create note like this and we'll call it tsx because we're using typescript again and then we'll come over here and inside of here is where we're actually going to do basically all of our work so let's just create some structure here okay so we're importing that notes ref that we exported from uh, firebase which we just created right here firebase.ts and then just react like that and now let's just create our note so let's come in here and we're just going to say const and we'll say note and uh, set note and that's going to be equal to use state and we'll pass in an empty string and then below that, let's uh, create our function that's going to be called create note here. So we'll say const uh, create note like this. And we're going to do an arrow function here. And let's add the event and some TypeScript here. It's going to be a form event if you're doing TypeScript. And we can pass in the event target like that. That's just a uh, TypeScript thing. If you're not using TypeScript, don't worry about it. Don't add this. Um, so that's good and then we'll do an arrow function here and let's close out of this so we have more room uh, arrow function here and inside of this function here we're gonna say uh, e dot prevents default like that and then we're gonna create an item here const item and that's gonna be equal to and we're gonna say task and we'll say pass the note that we created with the state here so we're going to pass the note and then the second thing we're going to pass is if it's done or not. So this is sort of just a create note kind of app thing that we're doing. All right, anyway, so below that, then we're going to go notes ref, which we created in the other file here. And then we're going to say dot push and then we're just going to pass in the item there. And then again, we'll just set the note here in our state back to uh, an empty string like this. So this notes ref dot push, we're going to push onto the array this other item and that's how we're going to add it. All right, so everything is looking pretty good. Let's uh, finish here with our markup. So if we come below this, we're going to say return. So we have to actually return something in our function here and we can do some markup. So we'll create a form and we'll just go and say uh, what on submit. And that's going to be equal to um, create uh, the create uh, note function that we created above. And then inside this form here, we're just going to have an input. And it's going to be of type text like that. And we'll have a value. And the value is going to be note, of course. And then we're going to have an on change. And that's going to be equal to. And we'll pass in uh, the event like that. And we'll say set note. And this will actually um, set our note. And this is how we'll set the note state here. And we'll say e.target.value like that. And then finally here, we can just add a placeholder. And we'll just say uh, create a note like that. OK, and close that off with your second uh, quotes there. And go ahead and save that, and that should be looking pretty good. So let's uh, fire this up and say yarn start. All right, so that's working well. And now let's actually add this back into our app here. So come back in to your app.tsx. 
So in here, we can actually just get rid of everything from the header down, get rid of that. And then we're gonna come in and we'll just say, uh, create note like this and auto import that like so. Make sure we close this off. Okay, now if we go ahead and save that and come back over to our uh, web app here. All right, so you can see up top here, we're just gonna make this a little bigger. And if we want to create a note, we'll just say test note and press enter. And this clears out, but it doesn't look like anything happened necessarily. But if we go ahead and come back over to our real time database over here, you can see that we can come in and now we have this notes here. And if we look inside it, we have the note added test note right here and done as false. So that is how you connect your uh, React app to a real-time database with uh, Firebase. Uh, hopefully that was useful. Uh, the code will be in the description. So check it out if you want. And uh, thanks for watching.